continuing on with the uh, rear bumper here. We're gonna get it cleaned up. I'm um, gonna do the bottom side first. I'm gonna spray this with uh, rubberized undercoating, and then uh, flip it over, get the top, spray that with bed liner. So, take a couple quick minutes just to knock some of the rust off some of these pieces, and uh, we'll get it ready for uh, undercoating. Here's a little trick I like using to uh, hold wires in place when I'm doing this kind of stuff. Good old hot melt glue. It's quick, it's easy. Just put a little dab down, press your wire into it, and away it goes. Nice easy way to keep your wires neat and tidy inside a bumper or someplace else where you really can't put a uh, clamp so I'll just keep working my way over here we're gonna work our way over to the other light where we can connect the wires together water out of it. Go ahead and set this to the side and we'll get the other end wired up. Okay. 
I don't know exactly where these are gonna wear to on the truck. Um, there's a uh, connection up underneath there that I believe is for the fog lights that it doesn't have. So I gotta trace that wire down and see if I can use that factory connection which would be super cool. Noticed over on the other side over there that I used some shrink wrap. I usually like to use the um, all-in-ones that have the, the shrink wrap built right into the tubing. I don't have any here right at the moment. Um, I ran out of them. I thought I had some more, but I don't. So we're just gonna get this uh, wire tucked in here and uh, so it stays out of the way. One little trick, um, you cut these off, they're kind of sharp. If you use uh, cutters of any kind, um, something that works really good and doesn't leave as sharp a uh, point on here is uh, toenail clippers. Uh, I don't have any in the shop right now. Uh, they disappeared in here somewhere, but uh, they work really good. And that's what I carry in the field when I'm doing zip ties um, is, is the toenail clippers. They, fold up go in your pocket or in your tool belt and uh, really good for doing stuff like this um, for the moment I'm not wearing the winch I don't I'm not ready to put the a spare battery in the truck yet so I, the winch is all mounted um, it's in the bumper because we can't get it in in with the bumper on the truck so we're going to put it in like this, and uh, I don't have any wire or rope for it. I'm going to pick up a rope for the uh, winch as well and uh, wind that on later when I uh, get a chance to uh, wire it up, which will probably be uh, later this spring sometime. Um, but otherwise, the bumper is done. Uh, both bumpers are, are ready to go back on the truck. They're all painted and uh, bedlined. Oh. I think they actually look turned out pretty good. So on the on the inside here, I painted with a uh, appliance pot rust oleum appliance epoxy to make it nice. It's a, a little slicker. Um, stuff won't stick to it as well, so you won't be carrying all that extra weight of mud and and whatnot in here. Uh, a little easier to clean and uh, keep it the underside of the truck looking nice. On the uh, <coughs> rear bumper, I uh, used a, uh, <coughs> a different spray. Uh, I thought about using the uh, gloss, gloss on there. I was going to use a rubberized undercoating on the insides of these, and I could have sworn I bought some, but I can't find it. So I must have uh, left it on the shelf because everything else I bought at the same time for this project is over on the paint shelf. So uh, on the outside, they do need another coat of uh, bed liner. Uh, I decided one coat isn't enough, but uh, those can be sprayed on the truck. Just uh, we'll pull the truck in and tape it off at some point and give them a wipe down and uh, give them another coat or two just to bring up that surface. So otherwise, it's all set and uh, we're ready to uh, put these on the truck tomorrow and put the truck on the road. So it's been a fun project. Um, We'll get you some video of uh, how it turned out after everything's uh, put back together. Maybe a little video. Maybe a little video of the bumpers going on when we're putting those on tomorrow. Um, I'm looking forward to having this thing on the road. My other truck is having issues, so it'll be good to have uh, another vehicle to drive and something that fits my needs a little bit better than the Tahoe that I'm driving now. So, from Colton and I. Uh, 
Hey guys, th this has just been a lot of fun, and we've enjoyed making the videos for this series. And uh, you'll see the truck in other videos coming up as, as we're uh, running around doing different stuff. So uh, stay tuned, and if you like what you saw, go ahead and uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you guys later. Sorry guys, the uh, uh, card filled up, so uh, we got the bumper all mounted. I don't know if you caught it where Colton smashed his finger. Um, we we do didn't. Have a, uh, we do have a rule in the shop where uh, you get to swear twice and then you got to shut up. So he went outside and uh, you can probably the camera probably still picked it up. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. So bumper's all mounted. I've got to wire the trailer hitch still, or the trailer connector, and install the... Uh, uh, thing for the the, the, guide, the guide for the uh, spare tire drop, the spare drop, um, and it's, we're missing. We had a burned out bulb for the uh, license plate light, so I'm going to hang off on putting that in as well until I pick up a new bulb for it this week, and uh, we'll get those wired in. So all we have left back here is the tailgate. So let's get that done. Hey guys, first drive in the uh, 
rebuilt truck. Heading out of the shop, headed home for the for a couple of days. Now, of course it had to snow today. Not complaining. I like snow. 